Look at that highlighter. It's nice. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a declutter and empties video. So I have here a basket or some bucket or a box of uh, fragrances that I am planning to give away to family back home. So I have here, I think more than 10, more than 15 fragrances that I'm planning to let go. Um, I have been thinking of giving these fragrances away from my collection or letting them go from my collection because, you know, for many reasons, the scent profile doesn't really fit me or they are fragrances that I don't really wear a lot. Or when I smell these fragrances, like I immediately thought of um, family members that would enjoy these fragrances more than I do. So I'm going to back away a little bit so the sun isn't really, you know, in my face or whatever. So I'll be starting with the empties. So I emptied my bottle of Juicy Couture Gold Couture. This was my second bottle. I got a 30ml first and I think this is a 50. I, I never really thought that I would empty this one because, you know, I did wear it a lot, but I didn't really think that, you know, I wore it so much that I would empty a 50ml. But apparently you know i loved it that much this is a repurchase worthy uh fragrance for me i will be getting another bottle of this i'm not really like in a hurry to buy a bottle this is available online and also in stores i really really love the scent so the first empty that's juicy couture gold couture and this is repurchase worthy for me the other one that i emptied um which you guys maybe know if you follow me on tiktok this is Billie Eilish Eilish, the very first fragrance from Billie Eilish. This was given to me by my perfume fairy and I completely, oh, there's a little bit left, but yeah, I was thinking of repurchasing this fragrance like before I emptied it because I really loved it that much. There was a time last year, I think it was, I think it was around October and November or between October and November that I used eyelash non-stop i just love it it's chocolatey orangey a little bit of spice in there but on my skin on my clothes it's really very decadent and very rich in chocolate citrusy kind of chocolate scent and i love citrusy chocolates so another fragrance that is repurchase worthy for me but just like gold couture i'm not really in a hurry to um, repurchase it but yeah, if I do get a chance, if I do have the budget, I will be definitely repurchasing Eilish. The third one that I emptied in such a short time, this is Burberry Goddess. I emptied this one in a couple of weeks and um, again, another repurchase worthy fragrance for me. Hopefully we can travel in March middle of March or something. For sure, I'm going to be traveling in April, but um, yeah, I will be looking for a refill, you know, the one in the plastic bottle like, where I can just refill my bottle. So yeah, repurchase worthy. This is one of my best purchases last year. And I think one of my most used and best um, fragrances in my entire collection, it's a very simple fragrance, vanilla centered. And you know, it's nothing mind blowing. It's nothing like super new. It's a very simple scent a common kind of scent profile but i fell in love with this one the try down of burberry goddess on me is so beautiful it's very sugary sweet and i received a lot of compliments so burberry goddess the third bottle that i emptied the last bottle that i emptied this is pink sugar by aqualina i think i have you know i have very little left maybe i have a couple of wears or maybe a single wear but I already considered this one as an empty. I've had this bottle since I started my channel. So that's three years ago and blind bought it. And I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. Like I hated it, honestly. When I first smelled it, I got a lot of like strong citrus. It was very um, strong in licorice. It was too spicy, too citrusy. And I didn't like the scent, but I gave it a chance. I wore it the next day and then the following day and I fell in love with it. But during the month of December, this has been like my go-to scent. So Pink Sugar, the fourth MT in the year 2023. By the way, my scent of the day is Jimmy Choo's Illicit. So this is currently in my January tray. 
I went to church this morning with my son and this was the scent that I decided to wear. Most of the fragrances in my January tray were Vermont fragrances, very vanilla heavy, but this is the one that I decided to wear. This together with Pink Sugar, they were my most reached for fragrances in the month of December and um, up until now. In January this is still one of my most used so my scent of the day Jimmy Choo's illicit EDP I just want to talk about my highlight because I can't stop looking at myself with this highlight look at that it's so good so I'm using the Sensai supreme illuminator I think this only comes in one color what is that it comes in one color and it's like a cream kind of thingy so nice look at that and for the lips i am using the chanel lip gloss in 738 i don't know if you can see it 738 this is the rouge coco gloss let us go to the main purpose of this video the declutter so um i'm gonna start i'm just gonna randomly pick some fragrances this is atkinson's uh, mint and tonic I got this second hand from a fellow perfume lover here in Iceland. I really like the scent. Um, she just decided to, you know, sell this while I was there picking up some fragrances. And, um, you know, I just thought, hey, I want to try new fragrances. This is actually really nice, but it's very um, masculine leaning. Like mint and tonic based on the name. It's green and um, very aromatic, a little bit herbal, a little bit herbaceous. I like the scent, the scent profile, but I don't wear it. And I was actually hoping that my husband or my son would wear this, but they're not really into these kind of scent profiles. So I think I'm just going to give this to my brother. Another niche fragrance, a partial bottle that I bought from the same person. This is from Oliver Paris Paradis Long Time. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's this fragrance. This is a floral scent a fruity floor now that i'm smelling this now this is actually really good no i'm not so sure if i want to let go of this but i've had this for a year or two i think a couple of years but i haven't really reached for it you know like for some reason i don't know maybe it's not really a kind of scent that's perfect for you know cooler weather maybe it's more of a warmer climate kind of a scent maybe does it have aldehydes in it? I think it has some aldehydes in it. Now I'm kind of loving it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not so sure. But yeah, I haven't been wearing this. And I think I'll be giving this to one of my cousins, my sister-in-law, or whoever in, in my family or my husband's family. So that's Oliver Paris. And it's this fragrance. And one of the fragrances that I bought last year, this was a blind buy. And I bought it because of the notes. Um, it reminded me a little bit of Britney Spears fantasy because of the notes. It has cupcake, some fruits, and some very sweet notes. I think it has some chocolate as well. And the name, Crazy in Love, I mean, it's just perfect. This is from the house Majuri Paris. And I think I've only worn this fragrance once or twice. Like, I really tried to make it work. It's not a bad scent at all. And based on the notes, like, it's really something that I know I would love and really, you know, enjoy and something that I would wear. But it smells really nice. Like, it's very fruity and sweet. Like, any designer fragrance, you know? Like, it's a niche brand. This is a niche brand. But this scent is very mass appealing. Why is it that I'm smelling all these fragrances now filming a declutter video? Why do I feel like I want to keep every single one? But no, I have decided to let this one go because, you know, as I said, I've had it for a year, more than a year, and I haven't really worn it. So I'm thinking of giving this to my best friend in the Philippines, one of my most special friends, Rhea. So I'm thinking I'm going to be giving this to her crazy in love because it fits her um, current life at the moment. You know, she's crazy in love. So I think I'll be giving this to her. I'm not so sure if I want to let this go, but I haven't used it really a lot. Um, this is one of the most unique scent profiles I have in my collection. This is from La Ligue and it's Anker Noir. I got it because of Chantal Tiffany's um, description. It's a beautiful scent, you guys. It's cypress. If you love woody fragrances, like this is so good. It gives you that scent of like ink. That's why it's called Anker Noir. Um, now I want to test 
uh, ink from Aqua Fragrances. See how that one smells and compare it to this. I've had this in my declutter pile for quite a while now. Uh, I want to keep it in my collection for memory's sake or like as a reference, you know, for a scent. Because I don't really have a lot of fragrances with strong cypress or fir or those kind of um, woods. But like I said, I don't really wear this fragrance and I'm hoping that my brother would love this. But I'm not sure how this one would perform or like how it would be scent profile wise in the Philippines where it's warm and humid and, you know, in a tropical country. Another oldie in my collection, this is El Jaramain's Juno Noir. This is an Oris or Iris sweet fragrance, vanilla and iris, powdery, floral. My son thinks this one is so sweet because every time I spray this or I wear this, he'd be like, it, you, you smell so sweet. But for some reason, I don't really get a lot of sweetness in here. I get most of the florals, the powdery florals, and it's not bad at all. Like it's one of the most beautiful scents, like unique scent profiles. I don't have any fragrances in my collection that smells like this, like almost carrot-like, orris, powdery, delicious vanilla. But for some reason, like I haven't been reaching for this one for a year or two. I've been wearing it a lot when it was new in my collection, but I don't really, I'm not really drawn to it. I guess, you know, even though I love powdery florals or florals in general, and you know, a vanilla centered floral, that's a beautiful scent, but you know, that I just need to let this one go and give this away to some cousins or whatever. So sad to let this one go, but this is Al Haramain's Juno Noir. The next one is one of my luckiest purchases because um, I actually planned on buying the tester and I got like not the tester version. And this was during a clearance sale on in one of our websites here. This is Bulgari Splendida and it is the Tuberose Mystique fragrance. So I think this is discontinued now beautiful tuberos like i love tuberos and fragrances and this is that green sweet tuberos very soft powdery fragrance you can never go wrong with this kind of scent profile like it's not a very strong tubero scent if you're not a big fan of tuberos like this is one of those scents that you can start with you know like introducing that floral but again for some reason i haven't been really wearing this one if i want to wear a tuberos centered scent i'm reaching for Givenchy center d or i'm reaching for my jaipur chant from um sarna Zardan and haven't been reaching for this one so this is the next declutter set to let it go but you know i just need to let go of fragrances that i don't really wear this one though i have been wearing a lot i put a good dent in it this is Rachel Zoe Empowered, one of my gifts from my Perfume Fairy. This is a beautiful, tropical, fruity, I think this one has coconut as well. It's like a creamy, fruity floral. I don't know why like I'm letting this go because, you know, I could just maybe empty this fragrance like easily. I'll give it maybe a week or two and I just can empty it. But, you know, I, I was thinking maybe other people could enjoy the scent profile because I have... A lot of other fragrances in my perfume wardrobe my perfume cabinet that has a similar ish scent profile similar scent category as this one but the thought that i could give it to someone else and enjoy you know the scent than me having maybe 20 fruity florals and you know it's, that's pretty selfish of me so i will be giving this one to one of my husband's cousins maybe or one of his nieces like i think i already talked about letting this one go in one of my videos um, I think when I received this fragrance in one of my hauls, no, not a haul, like um, perfume gifts. So this is another one from my perfume fairy, Stephanie. So if you guys have reached this far in the video and I keep, I've been talking about my perfume fairy for so long and I keep mentioning her in almost all of my videos because I'm forever grateful. Um, please fill the comment section with the fairy emoji just to show love to Stephanie for her kind and generous heart for selflessly giving me her fragrances. So this is Bulgari's. I think this is the Amya Garnet from this collection. And I think this is another discontinued scent. So I smelled this. I'm going to spray it. I don't want to waste it, but I'm going to spray it. 
This is a citrusy, fruity floral, a little bit of musk in the base. So if you're familiar with the scent profiles of the Omnia collection, it's very mass appealing. It's easy to love, an easy wear kind of, you know, scent profile. But I know this is very uh, famous back home in the Philippines, you know, this collection, because it's that kind of scent profile that works for the humid climate. And when I smelled this, I immediately thought of giving this to my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law is... You know, she loves perfumes too, and um, I will be giving this to her. I know she would love it. And then I have two Zara fragrances, also gifts from Stephanie, that I will be sharing to my cousins or my husband's nieces. I love these fragrances. I've been wearing them, but then, you know, I don't want to be selfish. I want to share some blessings. I will be giving these away. So the first one is Fabulous Sweet. This, you guys, is so good. It's some fruits, floral, and the other one is oriental. So this is a powdery floral. Like it's more dressed up compared to Fabulous Sweet. So this would fit, you know, one of my cousins or my husband's cousins or something. There's a little smokiness in the dry gun. I don't know what it is. A very surprising fragrance that I'll be decluttering. This is from Van Cleef and Art Bells, and this is Orchid Leather. I blind bought this one. Um, I was actually planning on getting Moonlight Patchouli or something, or something with a rose. But I decided to get this because I read some reviews and a lot of people loved it. It's a very nice scent. It's plum, some fruits, woods, leather, of course. It's Orchid Leather. But it's just the kind of scent profile that I'm not really, you know, a big fan of. So it, this is very, I would say, unisex, more masculine leaning on my skin. That's how it performs, that's how it um, shows up or like smells on my skin. So this will be given to Family Orchid Leather by Van Cleef and Arpels. I have another fragrance here that I have been loving, just like Empowered by Rachel Zoe. But the moment I smelled this, I knew that I would be giving this to someone. This is the Perfumist Field Escape. And I think this one has pear and vanilla. It's a very easy reach, easy to love, fruity, floral fragrance with some musks in the base, like a cottony musk. And, and then this, I'm not sure if I'm going to give it away. I'm not sure. But I already put it in the declutter pile. And I can't be selfish and keep everything for myself. This is Zadig and Voltaire's Girls Can Do Anything. By the way, all of these fragrances, except for the ones that maybe I bought myself, like I'm not so sure how I feel about, maybe Crazy in Love and Orchid Leather by Van Cleef and Arpels. Most of the fragrances here I really love and I wear them. Maybe did wear them a couple of times, but... I just feel like, you know, I'm, I I don't need to keep all of them. This would, I think, go to my sister-in-law as well. I think she would love it. She likes very cute bottles like this one. Like, this is a scent profile I know she would love too. I'm having second thoughts with this one. This smells really good. Mm, maybe I've just been testing it during the wrong time. I think I'm going to keep this for myself. Okay, I changed my mind about this. But I was thinking of letting go of Amon Fleury. Amon Fleury by this brand. I think this one has almonds, floral, but I get a lot of citruses here. I'm not sure if it's this one that I'm smelling or girls can do anything. I think it's this one that I'm smelling. It's more citrusy floral. Do I want to keep it for myself? Do I want to keep it for myself? I'm not sure. I'm going to spray it more. No, share your blessings, Paula. Share your blessings. Okay, this smells really good though. <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but I've been wanting to let these go not that i don't love them i actually really love them and i plan on keeping them because they look really cute and i want to keep them for reference but i've had them in my collection for a couple of years and i haven't emptied the travel sizes and i haven't purchased like a full bottle so i'm letting go of six of my kayali travels i don't know why i don't know why but like some of them i just got like um elixir 11 i just got elixir 11 beautiful rose apple scent but it's like if i really loved it that much like i i should have gotten like a full bottle right away but i know i don't 
just purchased full bottles immediately from Kayali because you know they're quite pricey and you know especially ordering them from here where I live shipping and customs tax and all that and shipping whatever so I'm letting this one go almost full Kayali elixir 11 and then I'm also letting go of Deja Vu White Flower. Sad to let it go. I actually let go of some of my floral fragrances because I planned on buying a full bottle of this. It's sweet floral. It, this one has nectarine. Like why? It reminds me a little bit of Scandal, a little bit of La Belle, you know, mixing those two together. Like if I really loved it, I should have used it and I should have bought a full bottle like am I gonna regret it maybe but they're so cute they're so cute I don't want to let them go but and then sweet thyme and pink pepper this was in one of my trays I forgot which month so beautiful too like why no I'm not so sure if I want to let this go this is so good though sweet thyme and pink pepper sweet the pink pepper is so beautiful like a floral spiced floral kind of scent with some very sweet notes oh, no i don't want to let it go but no it's it's already in my declutter pile so i will be keeping these <laughs> they will still be with me up until i send my care package back home but yeah this one oh why did i put it here oh this is another new bottle this is utopia vanilla cocoa i'll be keep um i don't know like i'll be keeping this i emptied my bottle and i was gonna buy a full bottle of it but then i got another travel from my perfume fair my my mistake my bad i'm not letting this one go i love the scent sorry sorry citrus 08 this i'm not sad letting this one go because you know i have another fragrance that i don't even wear from hermes um that smells almost exactly like this one but a little denser but for some reason i'm just not drawn to this citrus 08 i love the scents i don't know why i keep on trying to defend myself but um again i'm just trying to share my blessings the next one is or the last from the kayali is invite only amber 23 this is actually one of my most loved from the Kayali um, fragrances but like I said if I really loved it that much like um sweet diamond pink pepper I would have bought like a full bottle and then I'm letting go of almost half of my Dua fragrances I have five that I'm letting go of and two of them I think are discontinued or like vaulted this is caramel delight which is the scent um that's similar to Lyra I love the scent. I've worn it. I've received a lot of compliments. I put a good dent in here, but um, like, I don't know, for some reason, I just don't reach for it. Like, I know I can't reach for all of my fragrances. You know, that's not a valid reason for me to declutter a fragrance because if you have more than 200 fragrances, of course, you can't reach for every single fragrance, you know, because it, not unless I wear five different perfumes in a day. But for this, you know, I'm just in the mood of trying to um, minimize my collection and giving away fragrances that I don't really feel like I really need in my collection. So this is beautiful, but, you know, I'm not going to be sad, I think, to let that go. Another one that I think is discontinued is Drowning in Vanilla. Maybe they still have it. I'm not sure. Don't believe me. But this is the one that smells like Ani. I bought it because um, I really wanted to get a bottle of Ant. Ani by Nishani and I actually plan on getting like a small 15 ml of that but um smelling this owning this oh, it's beautiful though it's really beautiful but yeah I don't need to keep it like I don't need to keep it this is Delectable Temptation I bought it because it smells supposed to smell like pancakes blueberry pancakes and it does it smells like maple syrup pancakes you know but I don't reach for it so I have this one I could just keep it you know I thought I could just keep these fragrances for reference but no this is Mango Lassie this is a fragrance that I talked about when I haul video when I talked about Aphrodite by Soki London this is a beautiful mango scent so this is the scent that I expected to smell when I sampled mango skin 
by Wilhelm Perfumery. I wanted this kind of mango. This is Philippine mango, like straight up. But I don't reach for it. Like for some reason, I don't know why. Like I want to keep it because it smells really good, but I don't reach for it. And the last one is butter beer. Um, notes sound really nice. Butter, caramel, I think, vanilla. But I don't reach for it. Like this is very similar to um, Delectable Temptation. Like they're very straight up gourmand fragrances, but um, I don't reach for that. I have one more fragrance that I will be giving away. Um, this is... Bakar Rouge 540, but it's not the real one. It's not the real one. This is the 540, like a, what do you call this? A fake one. What else can I call it? Um, it smells straight up like, you know, Amber Oud Rouge or, oh, that one is nice. Amber Oud Rouge by Al Hermé. I have yet to repurchase that fragrance. This one smells very close to that. But um, yeah, I'll be giving this away. Maybe my brother can use it. This would smell really nice on him, so... This will be gifted to my dearest brother. So that is it for today's declutter video. That was a lot of fragrances, a lot of travel sizes, um, a lot of duo fragrances. And, you know, these fragrances are ones that I have been thinking of letting go in my collection, but I've been holding on to them like Anker Noir by Lalique or Junoon Noir. But some of them immediately I thought of, you know, I need to share them to family just like the Perfumist or Omnia Garnet or even Crazy in Love, you know, just some of them I just didn't really um, find a connection with or to. So they will be given to family. But I'm seriously still thinking of keeping this. But And Sweet Time and Pink Pepper. Oh my God, why am I doing this to myself? But again, Share your blessings, you guys. Share your blessings the way my perfume fairy is sharing her blessings to me. So thank you so much for joining me today in my declutter and empties video. Let me know down in the comment section what fragrances you're thinking of decluttering from your collection. If it's a handful, a couple of handfuls, or even more than that. Or if you're planning to keep your fragrances or your fragrance collection the way that it is right now, that's great too because I never really thought that I would be doing a declutter because last year I was fixed on keeping my collection as it was. And now I just feel like sharing to family and friends. So that's why I'm doing the declutter. Once again, fill the comment section with the fairy emoji to show love to my perfume fairy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Like I always say in every single video, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in my next videos.